Peace and blessings, kings and queens. My name is Ebony Q, and today I will be giving you a brief rundown on the chakras. All right, so our chakras are our main energy centers located within the body. And when those chakras are flowing and they are spinning in a clockwise direction, life is blissful. Everything is working out in our favor. We are in line, and it is just beautiful. And don't we all want to experience that? I know I do. So, we're gonna start off with our first chakra. Our root chakra is located in the pelvic area right below the hips. Its color is red. It's our sense of belongingness. It's our, it's our survival center. When our root chakra is blocked, we may feel as if we belong nowhere. We may search and search in a partner or in a place or in a job for a place where we belong, but we'll never find it because it's internal. As I move up, I move up to our sacral chakra. Its color is orange. That's our creative center. That's our sexual center. That's our drive, all right? Our sexual drive, our sexual desire. And when that center is blocked, we may feel feelings of resentment or feelings of guilt. Sometimes those feelings are surrounded around the idea of sex. And sometimes that is caused by our upbringing or, you know, our religion that's kind of caused us to have this disconnect between our sexual selves and who we are, who we truly are at the core of it all. Sometimes if our parents didn't allow us to be the creative beings that we are, they stunted our growth, they didn't support us, that center can be blocked. Moving up to our solar plexus located near the ribs, this is our willpower. Its color is yellow. When we are feeling creative and everything's flowing down here, sometimes if our solar plexus is blocked, we can't, we, we'd have no drive to do those things that we feel propelled to do. And it leads to sometimes procrastination and at other times stagnation. Moving up to our heart chakra. Our heart chakra is green. And also the other side of it is pink. It's our ability to not only give love to others, but to allow others to love us. And the pink allows us to love ourselves. When our heart chakra is blocked, sometimes we feel as if we can't trust anyone. We may be holding grudges. And heart chakra issues, they can lead from sometimes pains in your chest all the way to breast cancer. It's that serious. Moving up to our throat chakra. Its color is blue. That is our ability to speak our truth, to be comfortable with who we are, to be comfortable with saying how we feel. And sometimes as a child, our parents don't allow us to speak how we feel. And that can cause issues. And sometimes these, like our throat being blocked can cause headaches and other frustrations that we don't understand where they're coming from. Moving up to our third eye chakra. Our third eye chakra is our insight. It's our ability to see things clearly for what they are. Sometimes we may feel like we may feel like everything is everyone's fault and we're acting off of emotion when really we can't see things clear for what they are. We're not seeing his side or her side, but truly seeing the full side of things. And last but not least, our crown chakra. Our crown chakra is our ability to feel connected to everything around us, to feel one with the universe. It's where we get our insight from, from our higher source. That is our heaven. And if we can't balance out our first six, we can never reach our ultimate bliss, our ultimate crown. So I hope that I've made this clear for you and that you now have a better understanding of the chakras. And maybe in my next video, I'll tell you how to clear these blockages if any of this resonates with you. See you next time. Peace and love.